subscribe please just click that watermark that's throughout the video on the bottom right welcome to fastang 444 jump ahead in this game where I am getting in position for the final showdown. Head to heads complete! Get ready for the final showdown! Final showdown begins in 30 seconds! You can see where I like to leave from at this bend in the road east of this intersection. And this is Arena 7. The range of time to leave is 18 to 20 seconds. I will leave it 20 seconds because the Nissan GTR has near level 10 speeds and acceleration. A highly skilled player eliminated from leaving early. A bit of a surprise. Okay, I will go through the left center of this traffic circle. Usually I would open up the map and see exactly where I need to go, but because I am in a level 8 Nissan GTR, I do not want to sacrifice any of the speed that I have by opening up the map being up against a Hoonigan RS200. So let's follow this road. It looks like the finish may be on the low side of this hill that's ahead. So I will kind of just go on a straight line over to it. I want to get on the road that is on the low side of this hill real quick here because there's a steep embankment over on the left along the dry riverbed and that's the line they are taking and that winds up scrubbing off all of their speed so I'll wind up being able to get this win in. Welcome to the secret society of the Illuminati! Oh, shh. I was content to use this Brocky in the final showdown so I just hung out over here in the shadows. Now I am getting in position where I like to leave from. Right here in this field, directed towards the road that's ahead. Head to heads complete. Get ready for the final showdown. Final showdown begins in 30 seconds. You can see on the map where I like to leave from for this final showdown. This is Arena 10. The range of time to leave is 21 to 24 seconds. I will leave it the minimum 21 seconds because the Brocky has a quick acceleration rate.
I just maintain my speed through here. I thought I might be early. Final showdown in three. Multiple drivers must have headed northwest and the finish is that direction. So I will hop on the expressway and start taking that towards the finish. I can't remember ever seeing this finish. It's right on the southern edge of Horizon, Mexico. So I will just follow along the expressway. Once I get just north of New Lake, there'll be a rock cliff that I will go next to on the downside of it, of course, and then take that over towards the finish. I can see the cliff now. Once I get under this bridge, I will angle over to the right. There are some rocks along this line to watch out for. I think they're farther ahead. Over on the right, there it is. Right to the finish. Congratulations! You are the Eliminator! Getting in position for the final showdown, and I went off to the right there just so that those cars didn't challenge me because I think there might have been enough time to complete a head to head. So I didn't want to get taken out right before the final showdown. And this is the point I like to leave from in the right lane between the perimeter and this bridge. Head to heads complete. Get ready for the final showdown! Final showdown begins in 30 seconds! You can see the point on the map that I like to leap from for this final showdown. This is on the expressway just east of Horizon Street scene. This is Arena 1. The range of time to leave is 22 to 25 seconds. I will leave it 25 seconds. I may have been wise to add two seconds to that and leave it 27 seconds. We will see. The Brocky is a much faster vehicle, so I am going to try and bump them into the guardrail. I wind up missing. Final showdown in three, two, one, go! Perfect. The finish is off road. Hopefully, I can take a better route. I know to go left right away. You can see they went off of that bump along the expressway flying into the air scrubbing off all their speed now i will go between these two greenhouses not sure if they're trying to bump me or they were just trying to go to the right there either way i think i have the superior route they are going up the hill into the trees i know they'll go to the left a little bit here there's a clearing now it's just freestyling. I am not going to open up the map. I am just going to try and make my way through these trees and hills and get to the finish first. I think this is a matter of who hits the least amount of trees in this final showdown. Unfortunately, they seem to be having their own issues hitting trees behind me.
congratulate the Eliminator! Arena Shrinking! drivers left so I'm about halfway through the game and looky what I find here that will help immensely the final arena will be in the southeast either arena six or seven I can tell by how far southeast the next arena wall is I'll jump ahead and I'll point out that this was during Strider Z's stream and Tomcat was in the stream along with myself and many others. Strider Z's great guy, has great streams a lot of times on Saturday morning Eastern Standard Time. I decided to join them today. Fortunately, I had a hard time getting into the games with him, but uh, I thought I'd show this race because Tomcat asked me if I went on to win, and I said no, but um, there was a delay between me seeing that question within the chat of Strider Z's stream and me responding. I thought he was referring to a different game. So you'll see the results coming up here. And I will jump ahead to where I am getting in position for the final showdown. Arena Shrinking! Here's an online gaming friend and a subscriber who was also in Strider Z's stream, Wendy Buffalo. How you doing, buddy? Head-to-head's complete! Get ready for the Final Showdown! Final Showdown begins in 30 seconds! You can see the point on the map that I like to leave from for this Final Showdown, which is just east of this intersection at this bend in the road. This is Arena 7. The range of time to leave is 18 to 20 seconds. I will leave it 19 seconds and hopefully time my exit perfectly against such a skilled player, Wendy Buffalo. I get a little sloppy through the turns here trying to avoid Wendy Buffalo. Final showdown in three. I'll go through the left center of this traffic circle to avoid the trees. Wendy Buffalo looks like he hit one of them. I'm not going to open up the map and sacrifice any speed that is really needed. And I actually should be farther to the right here. I came really close to hitting those buildings. Now there will be a dirt road that appears on the minimap. I want to try and be close to that dirt road because I know it is a clear path through these trees that are ahead. Once I get to about this point, I know as long as I don't hit any trees through here, I will be able to win this, and I will. Good game, Windy Buffalo. Well played, sir. Congratulations! You are the Eliminator! I'll show this head-to-head -head because I thought 
it was very entertaining going through Mule. This person just took this level 5 Porsche 911 Desert Flyer and when he chased them down, engaged in a head to head, and the fun ensues. I'll take the dirt road between the trees up the hill here on the right. Follow along the road over to the aerodroma. Cut through the abandoned airplane hangar over to the finish. Easy peasy. Jump ahead where I am getting in position for the final showdown. Heads complete. Get ready for the final showdown. Final showdown begins in 30 seconds. You can see the point on the map I like to leave from at this bend in the road just west of this intersection. This is Arena 15. The range of time to leave is 11 to 13 seconds. I will leave it 13 seconds due to the Nissan GTR having near level 10 speeds and acceleration. I'm a little farther back from where I normally leave from, so that may affect my timing on my exit. Final showdown in three, two. I go to the left as I exit in line of the angled road that is ahead. You can see the bridge on the right that I avoid by taking this route. Now the next point I'm looking for is the right side of this electrical power tower. And then I will go to the left and follow this road that's ahead just for a short section. Avoiding the hills and the buildings that are on the left. Now I will angle to the left. The lava field is ahead. And there are roads that are configured in the shape of a bird. I know I can go through the neck and then the middle of the left wing. Now I will angle slightly to the left at the next point on this route is the southeast corner of this intersection, avoiding the lava. And I am pretty much beyond the lava at this point. Just take this route over to the finish. Society of the Illuminati. Oh, shh. If you like my videos, you've been watching my content. What are you waiting for? Just click that link on the bottom right. It's easy peasy.